Hey guys, Jason here with another Dual Vlogs episode. So today I got the chance to catch up with one of my very close friends and I told him about the channel and he was like, actually, you know, I have a box of cards just lying around doing nothing. Do you want them? And I'm like, hell yeah, I do. So he gave me his old collection and today we are going to go through it. So as you can see here, uh, it's, it's all in this box and uh, we're going to take, take a look at that today. All right, so starting things off let's uh let's bring out these stacks of cards i think there are a couple fake ones in here uh, i'm assuming most are real and uh, as we were loading them i also noticed that most were in pretty good shape so i'm pretty stoked about that now let's take a look so first thing we're going to take a look at is obviously the most eye-catching one We've got an Alcadia's Lord of Spirits now. Uh, he told me that he loved this card so much. This was his favorite card. He even wrote his name on it, as you can see here in the lower right-hand corner. Yeah, so I'm not going to be selling this, but this is obviously a very symbolic and valuable card to us. Uh, I'll, I hope I'll, I'll hope to never get rid of this, as it represents the power of friendship. So let's open this up. And behind it, we've got a... Another foil in King Riptide. So this is actually a pretty good card, I would say. Um, Andrew says it saw some play in DMP for a while. Just a big body that draws you two cards. Kind of like a double Aqua Hulkus, if you will. So let's just uh, put these to the side. Now, going through each of the stacks. Uh, I'm assuming most of these cards are going to be from the first five sets or so. Or rather, first four or five sets. Uh, predominantly base that I'm willing to guess. So Sonic Wing, Grey Balloon. I won't go through the not so good cards, but ooh, okay. Balzard Dragon, that's a pretty interesting one that came in set two. And it's actually in really good condition considering it was never protected and how old it is. So that's that's very nice. So I'll put Balzard to the side. Rumbling Terrorhorn, a great get. We really want to start messing around with uh, decks that don't use water uh, to, to get card advantage. Naturally, Rumbling Terrorhorn's a, a great candidate since he lets you search your deck for a creature, and he's also a big body on the field. So unlike Dimension Gate, Rumbling Terrorhorn's effect is actually... Um, well, basically, Rumbling Terrorhorn's a lot more playable. Lots of funky stuff you can do with this guy in Miraculous Rebirth. Soul Swap, an Ancient Horn... Okay, Armored Warrior, Kelos. Um, okay, Bone Assassin, the Ripper. Okay, so it looks like we've got some fakes here. I'm just going to put the fakes to the side. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, this guy's from a DM6, Stompatron. Pretty interesting. Uh, Amber Piercer, don't need that. Bronze Arm, ooh, Burning Power. Fear Fang. Sniff Striker Bull Razor. It was pretty funny how huh? when DMP first came out, Andrew and I, well, I... Basically, Andrew showed me that um, Snip Striker Bull Razor was seeing play um, during the first Dual Masters Plays expansion, and we, we looked at our cards and we were like, let's see if we can recreate some of these Rush decks. And it turns out we didn't have any Snip Striker Bull Razors, so we, we went ahead and bought some online, and then shortly after realized that it wasn't actually that good. But yeah, so <laughs> maybe we can make a deck with Snip Striker Bull Razor. He cannot attack while your opponent has more creatures in the battle zone than you do. He at least dodges Burst Shot, however. Oh, I like this card. Psyshroom looks very psychedelic. Uh, okay, so most mostly base set stuff. I think we'll probably work on uh, a master set for DM1 at some point. It's something that's probably quite doable. Especially considering uh, the cards in that set are generally the, the least expensive and easiest to get. Uh, okay, Magma Gazer, no. Ooh, Deadly Fighter, Braid Claw, it's, it's not a bad find. Uh, always a great candidate for rush decks. Uh, Alright, so that's well, that's part of the stack. Um, we've, got, we've got three more stacks coming up. So yeah, these are the three stacks that we're going to take a look at. Cataclysmic Eruption, that's pretty interesting. Eight mana though. Quite expensive. Oh, okay, so we've got a near place out of Core Isles. We've got another Illusionary Merfolk. That's a pretty good get for us. Illusionary Merfolk is a pretty... Um, I know I was saying how, like, um, I want... I sort of lost uh, faith in Illusionary Merfolk, but I think the next thing I want to try is just playing a really thick Merfolk line in some decks, like four Core Isle, four Emerald, four Merfolk, and four Soul Swap, of course. Uh, maybe some Poisonous Mushroom and Bronze Arm Tribes. I think it'll be a good time. 
but yeah, um, I don't think we had enough illusionary more folks to go around for um, for several decks running for. So that's that's pretty useful to, to, to have an extra one here. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh no, General Dark Fiend. This is a fake. I was like, why is General Dark Fiend shiny? Uh, so a little disappointing. Phantom Dragon's Flame. Oh, oh no, fake essence off. That's a shame. Lots of rainbow stones in here. Fonch the Oracle. Ooh, lots of Fonch the Oracle as well. Earth, fake Earth. This was one of my friend's favorite cards. A lot of my friends who like the Angel Commands, uh, they seem to really like this guy. Sonic Wing, Atari promo. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can complete the Atari set. Ethel. I'm actually surprised how a lot of these foils aren't very bendy. Uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Ooh, Magris. That's a pretty good get. I'm putting him aside, even though he's a common. Ooh, you look the Oracle. I think we only have one of these, so pretty pretty cool. Uh, we have more than one now. I wonder if it's at all usable. Okay, looks like we got a bunch of boring light stuff. Sarius, my boy. Boomerang Comet. Um, hmm. Oh, Holy Aw, okay, that's a really cool, two Holy Aw, no, this is a fake, but yeah, Holy Aw, very good get as well. Uh, you know, always happy to see shield triggers. Lothrix, the Iridescent. I haven't seen this card too much. I think it's a McDonald's promo, yeah, it would probably be a McDonald's promo if I were to guess. Okay, oh, all right, we're into the water section now. Uh, Aqua Hulk is please. Hunterfish, Recon Operation, Aqua Vehicle, our, our new friend. Okay, so no Aqua Hulk is so far. Thundernet, Logic Cube, huh, Larba Gear, Miel. Oh wow, that's a lot of Miels. Very interesting. Senatine Jade Tree. Okay, so these are these are the fakes. So I'll take those out. Ooh, another Illusionary Merfolk. Very good. Okay, so that is the first pile done. Um, now moving on to the second pile, the Twin Cannon pile. All right, obviously I'm going to put this aside. I'm very happy to get Twin Cannon. Ooh, Mana Nexus. For some reason, this card is really hard to get. It's only an uncommon, and it came out in the earlier sets. Maybe, um, I don't know, I was going to say, maybe it's because Rampage wasn't very popular, because it's not a great set, but then you see so many emeralds floating around, so one has to wonder. Uh, I don't know if short printing was a thing during Duel Masters, but anyway, uh, happy to get Mana Nexus in either case. Uh, stinger worm let's take this guy out of here oh, photo side two photo sides let's go okay just uh, taking it taking out all the fakes thundernet what does this do for each water creature you have in the battle zone you may choose one of your opponent's creatures and tap it interesting <laughs> okay let's see. Ooh, a lot of some fakes in here is this a fake stampede and yeah it is looks like Okay. Ward Worm, Less the Oracle, Spark. Ooh, okay. So, Brain Serum, Atari promo. So, looks like we are we are at um, two for five for the Atari promos. Some fake Brain Serums. Okay. Tropico. <laughs> Aqua Bouncer. Oh, some survivors over here. Survivors in the house. Oh, man. Two Crystal Lancers so far, I think. Hmm. Yeah, seeing a lot of repeats of cards we've already seen, oh, but that's cool. Ooh, Razor Pine Tree. This is a card I haven't seen too much. Get stronger for each shield you have. Okay. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Oh, so I see a lot of fakes in this stack. Um, Diamond Cutter. Yeah, I feel like Diamond Cutter is actually a, a pretty interesting card. I think you can... Well, you know, outside of the general uses, I think um, as a tech, it's pretty good in in certain decks with heavy blocker counts. Like imagine a Marino Mancer with all of their initiates, or Foul Control even with all the blockers. Just like just run like two Diamond Cutters or something as an alternate win condition. I feel like it could be pretty good. Oh, there we go, Aqua Hulkus. Very happy. Okay, I've got one, so we'll put that aside. Crystal memory. Ooh, two different kinds of fake crystal memories. That's pretty funny. Uh, oh, wow. Unicorn fish. I don't think I have too many copies of this card. 
So yeah, good good get, I would say. Another essence off. Pretty happy about that. I don't think I put the other one aside. Oh well. I'll put this one aside. Locomotiver. I would put Locomotiver aside, but we just have so many copies of him already. Aha! So Rothus the Traveler. That is our third Atari promo. So I'm just waiting for two more. I know one of them is Bronze Arm. I, the the Darkness one escapes me, but if it's in here, I guess that that will that will be unveiled very soon. Righty ho. So Deadly Fighter Braid Claw. Fake. Put that aside. Ooh, yes. So we've got another Terrapit. Very happy with this. Uh, as you know, I am very, um, very particular. I don't like running cards of different arts. One of our decks had like three English ones and a random Japanese one. So <laughs> pretty happy I'll get to swap that out. Death Smoke, Eldritch Poison. Yeah. Yeah, so a, a lot of these I can just skim over real quick. Uh, they're not particularly interesting, I'm sure. Um, I've also got an extra set of Bronze Arm Tribes from here, which I'm happy about. Roar of the Earth. I think this is like the first Roar of, um, English Roar of the Earth I've, I've owned. Okie dokie. So, looks like we are now moving on to the final pile. This one right over here. Now, actually in terms of foils, we're not doing too bad. Um, I'm not quite sure if he has any more, but I mean, with Akhildias and King Reptile alone, I'm already really happy. So, okay, so another McDonald's promo. Super explosive volcano done. Oh, oh, I see another foil in here. Moonhorn. This used to be one of Andrew's key cards when he was running the Mono Nature Beast Folk Mafia and didn't have Fighter Duel Fang. Such simpler times we lived in as children. Blade Rush Sky Terror Q. All right, so this guy's not very good. Um, I guess they were experimenting when, with the Survivor archetype. I guess they didn't want to make them too overpowered when they first came out. So they probably printed this guy, and they were like, hey, he's kind of underwhelming. And then they printed Qtronic, who was a, a lot better. <laughs> but very cool foil. It's actually in pretty good shape as well, and not doesn't have too much of a bend on it. Greg. Uh, huh. Ooh, another foil. So this is the the classic Rothus the Traveler that I believe came in the starter deck that pretty much everyone owned. I think all of the ones all of the ones I have of these are in really bad condition. So this one is what near mint. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, great for collection purposes. It's pretty funny when I first saw the base set Rothus the Traveler. I thought it was super weird. I was like, why does he look like that? It's just so strange. Just because I've probably seen more of the shiny one in my life than the the non shiny one. <laughs> Oh, Kukulupia. That's a that's a pretty good get as well. Quite a desirable card, even though I haven't really found a way to break it. First shot, great get here. Uh, always, always welcome. Always uh, good to see burst shot. Uh, unless you're a rush deck, of course, and you break into it. But that's besides the point. Armored Blaster Falthios. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever owned a, a real English copy of this. I like how I said I've never owned a real English copy of this, even though I've never owned a real Japanese copy either. <laughs> okay, moving along. How many more foils do you guys think uh, we're going to come across here? I think uh, maybe maybe one or two more. We're still waiting on the Atari promo, and uh, maybe my friend can surprise me. Ooh, verse shot. Pretty good. Seeing a lot of death smokes. <laughs> General Dark Fiend. Deadly Fighter Bray Claw. This is actually pretty funny. I think, uh, unless I've uh, glossed over it, I only pulled one real uh, Deadly Fighter Bray Claw. Ah, okay. So, looks like this is the final Atari promo. Nightmaster Shadow of Decay. Looks like in base set, they really were um, ex experimenting with blockers on how to make them uh, different from each for each sieve. Uh, so the light ones and water ones were very similar. They had good stats, except light ones could attack. Hashtag light privilege. And then the dark ones were just really bad. Like um, they they had either serious drawbacks or they were overcosted given um, what they could do, even though they could attack people. Well, I, by what they could do, I mean what they could block. You know, but yeah. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Deadly Fighter Braid Claw. Well, let's uh, chuck him out here. Ooh, Survivor. Blazasaur. 
onslaught triceps. Onslaughter triceps. Ooh, another rumbling terror horn. All right, let's go. Very happy with this. So it looks like we've gotten two rumbling terror horns so far. Even if we can't get, finish the set of four, I'm really happy with that anyway. Actually, well, I, I just got a stack of free cards. I'm happy regardless, but you know what I mean. Ooh, Moramasa, Duke of Blades. Okay, I haven't really seen this card. But uh, I don't think he's playable. So, Because if he was, I probably would have seen him. Uh, huh. So, gotta get rid of those. Oh, another Moonhorn. Very interesting. Another Snip Striker Bull Razor. Cool. Um, oh, McDonald's promo, Mighty Shogger. Let's go. Fake Balls are Dragon. Oh, there's our second uh, deadly real uh, authentic deadly fighter braid claw. Here's that creeping plague. Okay, let's get that out of here. A lot of rainbow stones. Uh, let's lot of triceps. Oh, ooh, okay, sniper mosquito is a pretty good get as well. Uh, Andrew and I recently made a giant insect sort of deck. Well, it has a um, sniper, mosquito, and pincer scarab. It's a really neat concept. Uh, but, um, you know, if we ever decide to make the, the standard fire nature rush, sniper mosquito would be a great candidate. So it helps to have spares of him. Storm shell. Wow. 7 mana 2k. Oh man, and you don't even get to choose. Your opponent chooses. Yikes. Oh, Atari Bronze Arm Tribe, very nice. So that completes the set. We do have all of the Atari promos. Another Sniper Mosquito, nice one. And yeah, that, that wraps it up. So very cool. Um, all in all, uh, a lot of useful stuff, actually. Uh, a lot of this is really going to come in handy when it comes to deck building. You know, we got a bunch of spare Bronze Arm Tribes. That, that never hurts. And then for the the stuff that I am more um, excited about, I've got some Deadly Fighter Braid Claws for Rush. Snipe, one Sniper, oh, I know we had two Sniper Mosquitoes, but uh, the other one is somewhere in here. Um, we've got Essence Elf. So, ooh, we've got a playset of Essence Elf. That's pretty nice. Uh, we've got two Rumbling Terror Horns. That's nice. Snip Striker Bull Razor. We've got two of those. Okay, um... I'm pretty sure we had two of those. Maybe I forgot to, to put it aside. Got some burst shots. Coco Lupia. On a Nexus. Very good get. Twin Cannon. Only one Aqua Hulkus, surprisingly. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we've got a, we, we make up for it with our two Magris. Diamond Cutter. Whatever. Yeah. Holy on Terrapit. Let's put all the trigs together. And a little mini Cyberlord package of sorts. And then, of course, let's not forget the foils. So, the Atari promos. We have Bronze Arm, Nightmaster, Rothus, Brain Serum, and Sonic Wing. Rothus, who comes in a starter deck. So, we've got two Rothus over here. And then, um, these are the booster pack foils. So, very nice. Uh, Alcadius, King Riptide, Balzar Dragon, Ethel, and Blade Rush. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, thanks for joining me on this dual vlogs episode. It came out a little longer than I expected, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, so as usual, uh, thank you so much for watching our videos. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you guys next time.